Welcome to a quest for metal and today we're gonna be thieving. We're gonna be little fucking pirate scallywags and we're gonna steal an idea from our good friend Metal Meltdown. Sorry, but we're gonna change it. We're gonna do it in an albums I missed video, but instead of the certain month like he does each month, which I enjoy those videos, they're great. We're just gonna do for the first half of the year. So we're gonna do all the albums I've missed, the notable ones, not all of them, because some of them are shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about them. We talk, talk about the albums I actually enjoyed, which I've never mentioned on any of these videos. So, you know, before I get started with this list of albums I've missed from 2021, let me know down below. What albums have you, I guess, missed from 2021? Albums that you've kind of caught up with and been like, shit, why didn't I listen to that back in January? Why didn't I listen to that back in that fucking other month? Because some of these, oh boy, some of these may have been on the top 10 list of the month, and we'll get to them. So, pop down below, and I guess let's get stuck in with the first pick, which is Dusk Morn, Fallen Kings and Rusted Crowns. Amazing fucking titles. Kind of sounds like a Game of Thrones episode title. Yeah, this is very folky, blackened, death, you might want to call it. Very cool melodies, melody heavy. God damn, it's definitely got that folk atmosphere. And this is the kind of music I love. You know, kind of similar to like a Sayor or a Ru 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 the Scottish black metal band, which just released an album recently, which I could put on this as well. I'm not going to. Um, bands like that, you know, bands of that kind of nature, Eldemar, but mix it with like a Monomarth, and then that's what you get with this this album because it's way more upbeat, way more intense than Sayor or any of those bands. They're more on the atmospheric side of folky black metal this is all more on the da 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 charging off to war kind of side of things without being cheesy you know it's good it rides the line really well and i think it's a great album from this year it's one i missed one that i definitely would have had on my list so dusk morn really good damn good album go check it out another one is flotsam and jetsam blood in the water this heavy metal classic this staple band i never mentioned um i did listen to it and i was like this is pretty goddamn good it didn't quite make my top 10 and i just still don't think it would but it's still worth a listen still worth a goddamn mention on this list because it it's fantastic you know they knock it out of the park again really consistent band really engaging band and i don't talk about heavy metal a lot <laughs> my whole channel's about metal I usually talk about, you know my list, I talk about black metal, death metal, doom metal, generally power metal. Those are generally what I talk about. Heavy metal, it's really rare that I talk about a newer band or an older band in the heavy metal genre. Um, but this is a great fucking album from a staple heavy metal band. So yeah, Flotsam and Jetsam, go, go give it a listen, Blood in the Water. All the songs are intense, all the songs are catchy and fast. I really liked it, so yeah, I'm really impressed with this one. More black metal for your bum, Panopticon, and again, Into the Light. This one I didn't really mention because I wasn't a big fan of the production. It does feel like like the vocals kind of are in the background in some of them. On the quiet sections of the songs, they really stand out. But on the heavy parts, it kind of fades into the background. But getting used to it now, so I'm starting to really enjoy the album. It is a great album. I was just having little nitpicks for the production, but fuck it. This is like Meltdown's favourite album, like favourite black metal album, especially of the year. Um, it's definitely not mine, but I definitely love it. I do like it now, a lot. So I definitely have to give it a mention. I've never mentioned Panopticon on the channel ever, what the hell? You know, this is like the first mention I'm, I'm talking about. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not like a diehard Panopticon fan. I like some of the uh, albums, others like Kentucky. I'm not a big fan of. So give me the cup of tea. Give me the give me the tea drinking style. That's the metal I like. Tea drinking style. Fuck off with your banjos. But yeah, I really enjoyed this new one. So I'll dive deep into the discography and I'll do a, a ranking at some point, hopefully soon. So yeah, once again into the light. It's melancholic. The singing is beautiful. The passages are really serene. So yeah, definitely gotta talk about it. Next up is Crypta, Echoes of the Soul. This all-female death metal band is goddamn amazing. I love the vocals on this. The vocals are oh, the best part, in my opinion. 
because it's like black metal vocals and I love when they do black metal vocals on a death metal record and this is kind of like that because her vocals are just screechy and I love it. I love it. And it's, not, it's not screechy in an annoying way like Poppy. <laughs> That's going to trigger everyone. Um, I fucking hate her vocals but the vocals in Crypta, they're, they're not annoying. They're goddamn amazing. Crypta Echoes of the Soul. I completely forgot it on my fucking previous list. Easily should have been in the top 10. I really enjoyed it. It was such a good fun record. And I know there was like Nervosa and people, I think Meltdown said, oh, it was kind of like the same. It's not. Nervosa wasn't that good. This is good. This is good. Love me some death metal. And this fucking delivered. Gate Creeper. They released an EP. An unexpected reality. Now, this was a very strange EP because like half of it was like grindcore. Really short songs. Fast to the point. Over in like 30 seconds or whatever. Or a minute. The last one's like fucking, what, like 16 minutes or something? It's like a yin and yang here. Of course, I like the long one the best. The others, I was like, this is catchy, this is fun, it's over too quick. That's my main complaint with grind, or any kind of, you know, grind, death, death, grind, anything like that, it's over too quick. I like my songs long, I like it schlonger, I like it longer. So of course I love the the late the long one, and if they did a whole album like that, oh my god, that would be the best album ever. But I still really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the fresh take on it, the kind of yin and yang between the really fucking fast, intense short songs and the really cool, interesting, engaging long song. It was a good mix. So I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this EP. So go check it out if you haven't. Oh, here it comes. Here it fucking comes. Everyone's like, hey, Questy, how come you haven't talked about this album? How come you forgot about this album? Well. I haven't listened to everything, you fucking twats. But now, now I've listened to it. We're talking about Cerebral Rot. Excretion of Mortality. Yes, the death metal album of the year? Question mark, question mark. I don't think so. I think it's fantastic. It's a great, slimy, oozy death metal album. It's definitely one of the best of the year. My favourite is still morbific because it's the same slime, it's the same ooze and sludge. It's basically the same as cerebral rot, but it's more like Boltfro, and that's my kind of death metal. It, so go listen to Morbific because the the riffs fucking chuggy. Oh, I love them. Morbific's like the greatest fucking death metal album of the year. Bar none. But this is second best. This is also almost as good. But oh god, if you like feel like your death metal just grimy, like like disease ridden, like you just got the corpus disease from Morrowind or whatever, and you're just kind of like turning into this weird figured mess, and then you decide to make a band. That's what this would be like. It'd be like some like lepers, it's diseased music for diseased people. Oh boy, is it juicy. So there was a band called Noctool with an album Wretched Abyss, which came out, which is a black metal album. Yeah, um, Skyrim related. A fucking Skyrim related black metal album. The vocals are insane, the melodies are insane, the passages are beautiful. Can't believe I didn't check this out before I did my list. Love this album through and through, love the song titles, love like let's let's bring it up. Some of the song titles are, are ridiculous. Um I don't understand the album art though, because just, that doesn't feel Skyrim-y, but the songs, Elven Sword, Labyrinthian, you know you know what that is. Um Wretched Abyss, I don't know. That sounds more like Dark Souls. Uh, Winterhold, obviously. Death Bell Harvest, Death Bell, you know, the plant. Unrelenting Force, of course, and Become Ethereal, these shouts in the game. Um, can people tell me what the Wretched Abyss is, though, in Skyrim? I don't, I don't really... I don't remember that. That's definitely Dark Souls. The Abyss is in Dark Souls. But yeah, um, I'm a nerd, so I loved it. You know, fucking Skyrim and Black Metal mix it together, of course, I'm fucking gonna love it. So yeah, I'm going to talk about it here. Go listen to it right fucking now. So my final pick is going to be a suggestion from Joshua Coe, uh, one of the commenters here. And he suggested I listen to Hell Light. Um, what's the album title called? Until the Silence Embraces. And, you know, it's Doom. I was like, I'm probably going to enjoy it. I like most Doom recommendations. This is probably going to be pretty good. Pretty good. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, this is fucking fantastic. Close to, if not, a fucking masterpiece. All the other albums I've mentioned are good. Um, This album, not to, you know, go too overboard and stuff, because you know how I like to over-exaggerate shit. 
This may be my favourite album of the year. It may be. It may be my favourite album of the year. This is Funeral Doom, like melodic Funeral Doom, which sounds like Swallow the Sun, so it has that sorrow in. It's long songs, it's sorrowful, and it's melodic, and there's a bit of clean singing, but it's mainly growls. It's it's mad it's majestic. It's majestic. How have I never heard of this band before? Because they've got other albums. But this one, man, this one blew my fucking balls off. And I loved it. So Hell Light. Yeah, Hell Light, you gotta go listen to it. This album is amazing. It's not for everyone, because as I just said, it's fucking funeral doom. <laughs> and it's melancholic. So if you don't like sad boy music, you'll hate this. Um I love it. It's my favourite genre. So, yeah. Hell light. Until the silence embraces. I think everyone should go give it a listen. Tell me what you think down below. And thanks, Josh, for giving me the recommendation. Because it's fucking good. So, that has been my stealing shit from Meltdown and making it into my own content video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to steal more content. I'll steal Metal Trench's shit next. I'll steal his shit. <laughs> Let me know. I'll come in with a mask over my face. It'll be um, like I'll come in on a full furry suit. How about that? But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this video. What are some albums that you missed throughout the year that you now are kicking yourself because you love? Let me know down below, and we'll see you again on another quest for metal.